Hi, and welcome to this episode on Financial Reporting Within Enterprise, Part 2. I'm Sharon from Enterprise, and on this session, we'll look at other reports such as the tax reports, the aging reports, and any other reports that are available to you in the dashboard. So within accounting and tax, we have the tax report. This is where you will see the total for your input, which is your purchase tax codes, and your output, your sales tax codes. From here, you can identify the date range that you want to select to see the input and output tax codes, and drill into any tax code then, of course, to see the summary of the transactions linked to that tax code. It's important to note, you'll see here, we've got the base amount, the tax amount, so the base amount is the net amount for that tax rate, and the, the tax calculated for that tax rate, and the total here. So you can calculate your returns then to your revenue. For anybody that's got customization associated with their region, it's important to note that any options will be identified here at the top of the screen. So this is a Singapore localization database. And from here, we can generate the IRS audit file and the IRS GST F5 file. Also, you can export any of the results to Excel at any time. So moving on then to the age receivables and age payables. So the age receivables is the report that identifies the money that you owe to, that your money that your customers owe to you. And the age payables identifies the money that you owe to your suppliers. So from here, it, you can identify the, the date to run the report up to including. So for example, if you wanted to see the position of what your customers owed you up to last month or last week, you pop in the date here and run the report and click on filter. So click on any of your customers then to identify what transactions have been posted for that customer. From here, you'll be able to see any invoices, credit notes, payments, etc., that have been identified against that customer account. You can, of course, for any invoices that are outstanding, so this one here at the bottom, you can select that invoice, enter an amount to commit, save that committed amount, which is for information purposes on the report and export them to Excel. So this is your customer's way of saying, well, I'll commit to paying that this month or as soon as. The age payables, again, in relation to your suppliers and what you owe your suppliers. So again, identify the date in which to run the report up to here. So again, you can click into any of your suppliers. You can identify where the balance is due in terms of 0 to 30 days, 31 to 60, and so forth for the aging. And again, click into your supplier to identify those transactions that are actually outstanding or to identify any payments that have actually been processed within that month as well. So moving on then, we have the dashboard. And very simply within the dashboard, you have a Again, a further overview of figures to avail of, such as turnover, receivables versus payables, the balance sheet, cash flow for the next three months. And over here on the report section, you can avail of any of the PDF reports available to you. So some of those will, of course, will be readily identifiable, such as the profit and loss and balance sheet, trial balance, and of course, the aging reports. And again, simply click into any of those reports, select a report, pop it in your criteria, your date selection, projects, etc., whatever you require against the report, click on filter to preview the report on screen from where, of course, you can export the report to PDF or print it. So for any further information, check out our help articles on help.enterprise.com or reach out to our support representatives here on the chatbot, which is down the bottom corner of your screen within Enterprise. And again, you'll see a link here also to the Enterprise Help Centre. So good luck with Enterprise Finance and Accounting with Enterprise. And thank you for watching.